Hi Kimri, it's really good to have you here today. Thank you. All the way from Maine today. Oh, so such a long way, Lord. Such a long journey with all the road works and everything. But anyway, let's not get into that. We're here to be positive. So it's lovely to have you here. How are you feeling today? Really good, thank you. Good. Well, it's brilliant to have you here. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you do at Unity? Yeah, well, we head up uh, what we call Silent Unity, which is a prayer ministry which is an international prayer ministry and we have the headquarters in Maidenhead for the UK. So that is where people can write in, they can call us on the phone, they can email us with any requests for support that we give through prayer. It's interfaith, it, the only question we say or the only thing we ask is that they have some faith and that there's a power greater than them that they're connecting with and that we believe where two or more are gathered that energy multiplies and grows and that the power of prayer really works. Would you like to tell us a little bit of what you do at Unity so we can enlighten the public? Absolutely. Well, we, uh, there's various roles that we have at Unity. Our primary role is our prayer ministry, which sounds very sort of grand, but really when, if anybody wants any support in any form and they believe in a power that's greater than them that they can link to, that empowers them from within, then we're there to pray with them. And we take calls, emails, letters um, and just really find a, a sense of connecting with them to, and with the power that we all live within to enable and for healing, for abundance, for relationships, for employment, finding new homes, all the gamut of life experiences where we struggle and it doesn't seem to be flowing easy. We bring our consciousness of prayer and the knowing of a higher power at work through us and as us and we find that blocks will clear, people find their right way forward, the health will improve. It's just so many wonderful stories we get all the time through working through prayer. That's fantastic, that's wonderful. Um, we were talking before um, with Pete, we were talking about loneliness and how isolation and loneliness is not good for us, how mm. we're all meant to be social beings. So that's what Unity is doing, it's bringing people together, connecting us all together. So what do you actually do to help in, to help that situation? In that regard, that would be mm. much more with the events that we hold. We, we, um, we have retreats and workshops, we have services and prayer meetings. And we've opened up much more now to Zoom technology mm -hmm. so that people can join us from their own home. Uh, so as you say, feeling part of a community, feeling part of, uh, of like-minded people that you can connect with mm -hmm. is just a really important aspect of life today. So using Zoom, we use that for our 9 o'clock prayer services, we use it for our Sunday gatherings, all sorts of different things we put out on Zoom. We have education classes that we do that people can connect with and uh, done very much in discussion format. So there's a real sense of reaching out. We're not just located in Maidenhead, we are connecting with everyone. And not just in the UK, but from Europe and America too. So it, it's really important that we do get a sense of being connected. Connected to the presence within, connected to each other and connected within the whole universal life energy. That's fantastic, that's wonderful. So can you tell us a little bit about Unity? Because you're not uh, a, such a Christian church that works with, um, with dogma and it's very relaxed and very full of compassion and very free. It's all about freedom, isn't it? And we're all invited there because, I mean, I'm not a Christian, I'm a Jew. And yet I feel that I fit very well into unity. So what is different then with unity, would you say? Well, we do come out of Christianity. We used mm -hmm. to be called School of Christianity, and the film was that set up unity really did believe they were Christian. But in the traditional sense, no, we're not, because we don't believe that Jesus is the only Son of God. We believe we're all children of God, and that the same energy in Jesus is potential in all of us. He realised his, we too can realise ours. Um, so we are very open to any faith, any religion, mm -hmm. there is no dogma, there is no creed. We do teach uh, that the power is within and encourage people to make that connection for themselves. Mm -hmm. It's that inner connection that changes the world and our experience around us. So it very much is, is about making that connection. Mm -hmm. Which is really, really good for us to hear. It's a bit more like Buddhism uh, in the way that a lot of people are frightened by the church because they feel that they're going to get all these rules and, and, and it's not about finding your inner strength, it's about actually the opposite to certain extents. But with unity, you're building people up, 
you're giving them the opportunity to connect inside to the positivity and the compassion and the love. Absolutely. Which is so basically, it's really good for everyone, that no matter who you are. You could be Jewish, Muslim, whatever. It's it's more like a philosophy, would you say? Yes. It can be used. It's it's kind of East and West combined. Right. Really, mm. when the film was really created unity and got it going. They took Christianity as their teaching tool, but they took many concepts from the, from the Far East, Buddhism, ideas of meditation and silence and stillness mm -hmm. and compassion, and really developed those and added that and built that into their experience of, of Christianity. Mm -hmm. and, and it works. That's, that's lovely. And uh, so tell us a little bit about the prayer line, because um, you know when I was in the wheelchair, I used to ring it, I'd say probably every day, and I wasn't in the best of states, but um, it's a really good place to, to ring when you, you have got no one to talk to, because you get held by the angels of the prayer line, and I got to know all of you, and they're all very different, they're all very different, you know. But, so tell us a little bit about where does the prayer line come from? Where did it originate? It started in America in the 1880s, late 1880s, from our co-founder, Myrtle Filmer, who healed herself of tuberculosis. And um, because of that healing, other people heard of the healing and they wanted to, they connected her and they wanted healing themselves and to start off with it was one-on-one -on -one in person like this. Mm -hmm. And she'd worked with them and they experienced healings and then more and more people, I mean this is before there was any media like we perceive it today, but mm -hmm. more and more heard of it. And so they started to develop a group of people that would sit and pray together every night and connect with the names that have been shared with them and they held them all in prayer uh -huh. in evening meetings and eventually it developed and became a place that people could write to. So people would write, that was the way they could communicate then, they would write letters and they had hundreds of thousands of letters at one point that were written in every day to Silent Unity and it has since expanded and expanded. Obviously the telephone brought along that way that people mm -hmm. could connect and now it's emails. Yeah. So, you know, as, as the technology expands, so we move with it and people can connect with us. In sure. Ways. So how do people get in touch with the prayer line? You could, there's a website, you can go right. to www.unityuk.org and on there is all the details about the prayer line. The email is silent.unity at unityuk.org. Okay, silent.unity at unityuk.org. And if you want the telephone number <laughs> as well. The telephone number is 01628 That's wonderful. And if there isn't anyone actually on the line, they do get a very positive message. Yeah. To, that will really, really help you and hold you. And I hope you take advantage of the prayer line because without the prayer line, I probably wouldn't be here after the year that I had last year. So I'm so grateful to, to have that. I'm so grateful to have that. You're welcome. I'm so grateful to have unity here. And so you also have the daily word. Yes. Which is a very, very positive message you can get on a daily basis. Mm -hmm which is, it takes a message from the Bible, it takes a phrase from the Bible, but it make, puts it into daily life to really, really help you, doesn't it? It expands it mm. very much so, and it gives the unity take on the Bible reading as well, because mm. uh, so many read into the Bible a, a, a fear of God and judgment of God and punishment and sin and mm. death, and we look at it in the opposite way, we take it what we call metaphysically, right. and we expand it and we see it in a very positive, supportive, encouraging way, and everything is about the powers within us, and using that power to transform our lives. So yes, daily readings, bi-monthly booklets, mm -hmm. digitally and printed form, yep, we do the lot. <laughs> <laughs> great, that's great. And you have some physical meetings. You have every third Sunday of the month. Third Sunday at three at the Friends, Friends Meeting House, House in, Maidenhead. in Maidenhead. That's wonderful, Kimri. Thank you so much for coming on to the community show. We hope that we can help spread all this positivity and all the love. And so grateful for you oh, for doing so it. Much. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. And thank you for helping me. So there you go. This is Unity, Silent Unity. Um, Kimri and Silent Unity and signing off from the community show. If you want to get in touch with us and come on with your wonderful positive stories or your life or anything, please email me Lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N-E at movingontv.uk. Namaste, have a beautiful day. Thank you.
you get someone that's actually in intense pain that it's hard for them to even sit and think that they could ask their pain in how are you going to do it would you do that um by steps like slowly slowly gently gently because the first thing that you want to do is imagine that you're holding a sword and shield of setting the sword and shield down and then walking up to an imagined sacred space the door opening and then your issue say neck pain walking through the door and you welcome it you say well no, rien, de rien. Oh, I love you too, Marcel. Mm, mm. Oh, bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> I want to wear my face to the audience as I would a laver. And that is why I refuse to wear the makeup and the products, not unless they are organic. Because they make me feel nude. <laughs> so, come on board, organic makeup companies, moving on TV, don't you Bonjour. No, no.